Hi there, Henry Smith here from MindWorthyEnrich.com. Thanks for joining me today for today's update. So as what I do on a daily basis is update the portfolio, cryptocurrency portfolio. This one, this is a, an investor's journey, crypto space with a, a particular portfolio. And I just basically update the figures on a daily basis. And since February this year, I decided to start recording it and documenting it. So uh, for future case studies and um, analysis purposes. And um, but make sure you stay to the end because after the update, I always talk about something of importance. So, uh, but before I continue, it's also important for me to do the, the obligatory disclaimer. So I'm not a financial planner or financial, financial advisor. I'm not either one of those. So this is not financial advice. Nothing I say in this video is, should be taken as financial advice. Make sure you do your own due diligence, your own research before you make any financial decisions. Also understand that with any kind of investing, there's always the elements of risk. So do not invest more money than you can afford to lose. Okay. So um, with that, what I'm going to do is share my screen and update the portfolio. So um, today is the 12th of um, 12th of October, and um, this is the book. This is the, this is the uh, spreadsheet. So, typically, there are four, three columns, three main columns: the altcoin column, the Bitcoin column, and the totals column. And the green, for those of you who are new, the green and red is green is when it's gone forward on the previous day, and red is when it's gone backward on the previous day. So, green and red, green and red. So, yesterday we had kind of like a reddish day, but Bitcoin went forward, went forward over two thousand dollars, two thousand. To about two and a half thousand dollars. So <clears throat> all coins went backwards, <clears throat> Bitcoin went forward. Overall, we went backwards to uh, just 2,000, uh, 2,242. But anyway, I get the figures from this page here. And uh, this particular portfolio comes in, uh, the figures coming from a live feed into an asset group, in, and they're shown here of this particular asset group. And this particular portfolio consists of one whole Bitcoin and an assortment of special, specially selected, specially researched alternative coins. And um, that's the total. So on the left-hand side, we have, um, left-hand side, we've got US dollars, right-hand side, we've got British pounds or pounds sterling, same portfolio. And in the middle here, we've got the split. And that's interesting. It shows that Bitcoin has really kind of stretched because that was kind of like a 75, 25% split, but Bitcoin has kind of moved out on its own, so to speak, and um, become more dominant. And um, we'll talk, we'll look at that in a minute. So that's what's taken this down to 73. Sometimes this can be, you know, 75, even 76% of all coins, but Bitcoin as dominance is, is growing at the moment, which is powerful. Um, so the figure I want to take anyway is this figure here, 148,560, 148,000 timing. That's UK time, by the way, 148,500, what was it? 560.68. 560.68. Five, okay, so that is... <coughs> That is 8,000 down. So 8,000 has come out of the four coins. Um, 8,437. And let's have a look at the total overall, which will give us a Bitcoin figure. There's 205,855, uh, 8, um, 8, 85, 89. 205, 205, Yeah. So that is minus 8,000. Bitcoin is minus 500. So Bitcoin's just down 500. Didn't roll these the last few days. So, yeah, so Bitcoin is down $500. The, top, the overall portfolio is down 8,937. So that's okay, you know. Um, <clears throat> Bitcoin is, is it's t seems like it's time for Bitcoin's time to, sh time to shine. In fact, well, let's look at the um, coin market cap. You know, the overall market cap of the crypto market is just under two, you know, 2.2 trillion uh, dollars. 
with Bitcoin having a dominance of 47%. So Bitcoin is, is it's actually close to 50% dom dominance at the moment. Ethereum is at 17.8% 17, dominance. So yeah, so and Bitcoin seems to be having an, an up day, as we can see, despite uh, others. In fact, closer look at Bitcoin at the moment, since um, 21st of June, since we, uh, really um, the end of September, beginning of October, it has risen dramatically uh, on an upward trend, as you can see, it's on an upward trend uh, so far. And um, we shall see where it goes. Well, it, you know, it looks like it's on its way to hit its all time high. That could happen this month, if not end of this month, if not November, probably come down a little bit and go back up to the next part of this line. And as it continues to go up and down, because it always zigzags, it will most probably surpass its previous all time high. And um, who knows? Uh, and it, it could even go up even more steep than this, and then we'll have to change this line or take this line off, this yellow line off, because um, it may not go up according to this trend. It might go much steeper, but it's certainly on an uptrend. Uh, certainly on an uptrend. So this would be a good time um, to invest. Uh, this indicator talks about, that shows the, the upward trend of the market at the moment. The market is definitely on an uptrend regarding Bitcoin. Uh, when the green is on top, and the red is on the bottom, and we have this yellow line, it shows the strength of the trend. So as you can see, the, the green on top and the left is on the bottom, it's kind of like um, a mouth opening. And um, yeah, it's kind of like a mouth opening. So, so um, the wider the mouth, the, the more it indicates the, 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 um, this upward trend is going to be. And the strength of the trend is always shown by the, um, by the uh, yellow line. So the yellow line is pointing upward, so it's, it's still trending up. And um, this, this is very, one, one of many indicators, this is probably the weakest indicator but, that we use, but it's one of many. And um, perhaps in the future, I'll open up uh, some, some positions to some spots to enable people to take advantage of our powerful indicator uh, service. But for now, so, you know, when, like, for example, back here in April, it showed when it was going to go into a downtrend when the red was above and the green was below, that signaled we entered a bear market. And um, when it actually dropped in May, that massive drop was shown. You know, we were in the red zone that was on top, so it was, wasn't a surprise that there was, the market was going to drop. The green was at the bottom. But now, right now, green is on top. Uh, you know, we, we, we've been through a, a bit of a down, downturn and it um, looks like green is on top right now. And so we shall watch, observe as, as we, you know, continues. As soon as, as soon as this switches, then we know we're coming into a bear market again. But for now, we are in an uptrend. Um, the beloved Gazan channel, it, sh it looks at the moment like Bitcoin has, has escaped it, but we don't know yet. This candle here, this green candle, let's just make this wider, bigger. Yeah. This candle here has, is outside of the tunnel, the channel, and it has 12 hours, or you can see on the left hand side, 12 hours and six minutes left to complete. Mm -hmm. After 12 hours, then it will complete and then it will be fixed like this one. And that will be its position. Providing it doesn't come down to this yellow line, that will be one step out of the tunnel completely. Because this one here was just at its like head and shoulders outside. But this one has the whole body outside and the wick. And then the next one should form in, you know, start to form in 12 hours and, and, and five minutes or six minutes. And then providing that forms out, you know, up here and not down here, that means it has escaped. If it, if it forms down here, then it means it hasn't escaped and it could be a downtrend coming. It means the tunnel's going to pull it down. But if it forms just like this one on the outside of the channel and the, or even higher, breaks the red line, 
and without a wick coming down in the tunnel, 99% it means it has officially escaped the tunnel for now. It's got to, you know, eventually will come back in, but for now, which means it was then if it passes this red line, it is on its way. Um, you know, so, 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 um, we, you know, we'll be prepared for that. The, the Golden Cross happened, as we saw in uh, September, middle of early September, 12th of September or so. And there was meant, there was going to be a Death Cross forming, but it seems to be delayed for now. It's delayed because there's an uptrend. So these, we shall follow these dots and see where they shall meet again, the red one and the green one. And that will form, mean the beginning of the next downtrend. But this could be months away before they arch round again. They always seem to try intertwine around each other. But um, so it's pretty interesting. Um, the RSI is just showing the, the growth, you know, the upward trend again, confirming the upward trend. So when you have several trends, several indications that sh show a, a particular trend direction, like, you know, one, two, three, four, five, that is called confluence. Confluence. Confluence means you've got many confirmations, many things pointing to, towards the same thing. And again, these are just basic um, analytical tools that we have a lot more advanced ones that, that we use that are also saying the same thing. So that's, you know, it's, it's really, uh, really interesting. And, um, but there's still a possibility of a turnaround, but it's very minute. So um, long may the bull run continue. It looks like the bull run is back on track, but we shall see really confirm, you know, we'll watch this and make sure this doesn't turn, the red doesn't come on top. Because once that red comes on top, like this one, then we know it's a downtrend. Um, and where, where the next candle forms and finishes, that, that's, uh, you know, in the next 12, 12 or so hours, that will tell us a whole lot about whether we've escaped the tunnel and whether we're definitely in an uptrend. So, so we'll keep you posted. Um, if you like this content, make sure you uh, subscribe, hit the notification, like this video so that YouTube algorithm can share it with more people. And um, don't forget to um, go to this website here, imworthenrich.com, and download a free um, personal development mindset course and investment strategy right now. Very simple, very powerful. And um, fill in the short form, I'll send it to you straight away. So it's imworthenrich.com, how to understand the game of money, play it well. And um, again, once we, I decide, we decide to release this service um, that we're really considering, um, but it doesn't matter which way the market goes, whether the market goes up or down, you can still make money um, once you know how. But um, right now it's an upward trend, so it's time to make money from the uptrend. After the uptrend comes the downtrend, and um, you know it's just a way of life after the rain comes the sun after the sun comes the rain you'll make money you can learn to make money in both uh, conditions if you know what, what, what to do and how to do it and what to look for but look out for that information uh, if you're on on the list it, it, you'll be one of the first to know so we will get to that website i'm and um, i want to thank you very much for your time and i look forward to seeing you in the next video have a great day Thank <laughs> you.